And next here tonight, proof that generosity can change lives. It is part of our Hidden America series. Last May, I reported on Strawberry Mansion, a high school inside Philadelphia, for five years considered one of the most dangerous schools in America. And you met that night the valiant principal trying to save her students and her school. Well, tonight, we just want you to know how you helped as Hidden America returns to a school and their dreams. The school we showed you last spring was a school on a hair trigger. Whoa! At Strawberry Mansion, 49 serious incidents like the ones we filmed, and often Principal Linda Wayman caught in the middle. The day I was there, a fight. A student said she'd come in to protect me. We don't want nobody here, Diane! Students and a principal trying to hold it together. And remember, if nobody told you they loved you today, you remember I do. A principal trying to give the children who wanted to learn enough safety to do so. Children like a quiet ninth grader named Malaysia who told me she was bullied a lot. Because I'm little. Students like Lizak who tried to show up at school every day, even though it was tough in the cramped quarters at home. What are your favorite subjects? Chemistry. I like learning about the atoms and the periodic table. And we saw good students like senior Christine Holland who didn't have the deposit fee for the college she loved. A tough-talking principal in despair. And then our report and your unbelievable response. Just when I really did think there was no hope in America, then you all aired the special. I never felt such joy in my life. When them phones started ringing and, oh my God, somebody, somebody besides me actually do care. Right away, you, our viewers, moved in. That senior, Christine Holland, who didn't have the fee for the college she loved, got a scholarship. Oh, look at that girl. <laughs> and so did 12 other seniors heading off to college. And you helped make sure the school had a lot of basic necessities like books and calculators and notebooks. The students themselves requested school uniforms and in part because of money from you, our viewers, they got them. Tonight, little Malaysia, now in the 10th grade, is doing well. Razak, a bit more confident than he was, has moved outside of Philadelphia and is living with his father. There is still a reality at Strawberry Mansion. There are still fights like this one posted on YouTube. And the girl being hit, by the way, who luckily escaped injury, is the same young woman who stepped in when I was there to try to protect me. We don't want nobody here, Diane! Two of my favorite people in the world. <laughs> but overall, the number of serious incidents at Strawberry Mansion has plummeted so much that for the first time in six years, this school is no longer considered one of the most dangerous in the country. And if there is one thing that symbolizes what has happened at this school, it is this. For 62 years, the school could only dream of its own football team. But tonight, not only do they have one, meet the Strawberry Mansion Knights, who ended their very first season last month undefeated. Undefeated, undefeated. first season ever. For this community in this school, we get no victories. We don't, we don't, we don't win anything. I might not be able to get them into Harvard, but I can give them some hope. And God, don't underestimate the power of hope. Because when children have hope, they can succeed. And we have more stories of the power of hope coming up tonight on Nightline. Be sure to watch, including the story of a music superstar who decided to give the students something big.